Well, after two years, we finally made it out to Langara. A little bit of a travel day today, so it's pretty pretty busy. Get on the jet in Calgary, helicopter ride into the lodge, and we made out for a few hours here. Once again with our guy Ted. This time I drug my dad around, so you guys are gonna want to stay tuned. Not you're not gonna want to miss it. There we go, something's, or it's hitting the bottom maybe. What are we in here? Yeah, pick it up, you got a pinky on there. You gonna be ready this night? Well, you're kinda late now. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to start walking back. <laughs> oh, he's fighting pretty good anyway. It's hard to tell when there's grey water, it's coho and chinook until you get them right. That's, that's great. Oh, big whale over there. Big whale over there. Oh, yeah, I'm behind you. Okay, reel them up. Let's not play with them, but maybe one There you go. That is a nice coho. Look at the size of that bad boy. That's a big one, yeah? Ooh. That's a good one. Well <laughs> done, dude. There you go, one. Just real, real. Set up, set up, set up. Set up, set up. There you go. Good job. Good Oh, I got something now. Nope. Yeah, his ball's there. Will you just hang on? Uh, Fish is yours. Uh. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a nice hollow bit. <laughs> Pick his head up out of the water. Just keep coming. Just keep coming. Keep it coming. Keep going. Nice <laughs> 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 yeah, whatever it is, it's pretty heavy. I think so, yeah. Well, I'm gaining on it, so huh? I said I'm gaining on it a little bit. <laughs> you just lost what you gained. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're shaking, 
Yeah, that's the weird part is it is head shaking a little bit. Maybe a big length. Another big alley. That'd be awesome. That'll be a big under, I think. I think it's an under? Big under. I gotta get a new net too. Oh yeah, Alan's. They got the Matt Weaver touch going on here. Set it down. First salmon. Your first, your first spring. First spring salmon. That's a jerky. Well, there's Dad's first spring salmon with the trip. What do you think, Dad? Awesome. Great day. Dad, what do you figure? Here we go, boys. <laughs> yeah, we're just wrapping up day one here. We had a pretty good day overall. Lots of action. We missed lots of bites. Dad's first time salmon fishing, so he missed a lot of bites. But all in all, we had some fun. We even snuck a few over halibut in, so halibut fishing is over on the first half day, but lots of fun. So hopefully we can get some more tomorrow. We're out here at Langara, day two. First day was a little chaotic with all the travel. Made out for half a day yesterday. Caught some really nice fish, a couple of halibut. But yeah, we're just out here day two, just getting ready to do some salmon fishing. We're gonna be pulling some cut, cut baits. Hopefully it uh, turns out good, so you guys are gonna stay tuned. Oh, there we It's bombers, I bet. Yeah, it is. Oh, here we go. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I seen it once, salmon. There we're good, we're good. Come on, he's right here. There you go. I 
I got to see the ball here again, Ted. I said, I see the ball again here. Yep. Yeah, would you bring this one up then? The There he is. There we go. That's a nice fish. There you go. Nice fish. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, nice spring we got earlier this morning. A little midday update. Got two fish on the box. One bigger spring this one and a smaller one. So far it's been a pretty tough bite, but we're keeping at her. We'll get back out there and get some more. Oh, you got that. Right there you go. That's what we're after. That's a good size. Getting close or what? Your arm sore? There he is. What do you got? Ling. Oh yeah, another ling. Another ling. That's not bad. That's a nice size. That's not a bad size. Yeah. I just barely got him. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's on fire over here. You think what to get it out? Yeah. What do you got? Oh, that's, a nice <laughs> that's a big one. Oh, well, it's two. It's two of them. Look it. Okay, now you got two on here. Just, I got a, you know, the big one isn't hooked. You just bit it. See? Right. So just bring it up so I can gap them. You got a picture back? Oh, I got one. She's gonna let go. Well, look at that. He's got. That ling is still something else though, I think. Huh? That ling, eating the other ling. I think that, that tops her. <laughs> oh, it's... Well, I've had that happen before, but usually on a ling, on a uh, rock These are... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got a ling. I got a ling. Is it a big one? Not really. Probably about the same size. What did you get that? Two, two fish on one. Two fish on one? <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> take another picture of that one? Oh, so I got the GoPro, but wow. There you go. Oh, yeah. They're right, they're right here. There you are. I watched it come up and eat it, Ted. Okay. I watched it eat it. When I, when I did, yeah, yeah. When I dropped it, I watched one come up and try to swipe at it right away. And then also, I just had a, I was hooked up. I know. Yeah, you see him? Four or five of them. Well, just let him eat it. Actually, drop her. Well, that's a nice one. Shut him up.
Oh, 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 look at them all. Holy man. Look at all the school of them. Oh man, that one choked it. Oh, there's a big ling that just went flying through there. Huh? There's a little big ling that went flying through there. Awesome day out here on day two. We got on some salmon early in the morning, then we followed up with some bottom fishing. It's kind of a fun experience. You know, Dad's GoPro turned off there for a while, but he caught a smaller ling and a bigger one came up and hit it. So that was pretty cool to land a big ling like that on a smaller ling. And we went out bomber fishing for a bit. We got a few bombers right off the bottom. The action was pretty steady. But yeah, all in all, it was a really fun day. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back to salmon fishing all day, so you guys are going to want to stay tuned. Welcome back, we're out here for day four. If you thought you missed day three, you didn't miss much. We had 12 hours on the water, just full of rain and wind. We didn't film anything at all, but we didn't catch anything either, so it didn't really matter. It's kind of more of a wash, but we're back out on day four, about halfway through the day. The sun finally came out, so we brought out the cameras again. And we caught a few fish this morning on a few drifts, but hopefully we can get a few more, so stay tuned. Another awesome spring up here at Langara. Thanks to our guy Ted for putting on the, on the fish again. Don't watch your fish, watch your rod. but it makes for a great fight in this weather. <laughs> well done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real, 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 real. Just keep going, just keep going. There you go. Under there, there you go. <laughs> Probably a coho or something, maybe, huh? Right here now. Huh? Just keep the tension on them. Come over, come over. Keep it tight, keep it tight. They got real. There you go. <laughs> oh, you jump and dine Got like a pink or something. Yeah. <laughs> I just oh there he is. 
Did you hook him? Yeah. That's a big, big thing, eh? Well, yeah, huge shout out to Kevin for putting on this wonderful trip and all the staff here at Langara, especially our guide Ted. He put us on the fish here all week, an absolute blast. And my dad for joining me on this wonderful trip. Seen lots of whales, caught lots of salmon, halibut, link cod, rockfish, lots of, definitely lots of memories. Um, had a blast sharing with my, my father and Ted. This is my third third year up to Langara. We've had Ted here every every trip so far, so it's been an absolute blast. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the water next time. Mm -hmm.